Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how you can create a, um, a happy face that moves when you push left or right on the joystick on your sense hat. So this shows you how to use that joystick and how to um, make it impact the picture on the screen. Last time we I showed you how to create that picture on the screen, and this time we're gonna we're gonna start controlling it. So what you need first is uh, a few lines of code here. Um, of course, we got to set up our sense hat object. So I can just use the auto fill in import sense hat. We're importing the sense hat class, and now we're setting up our sense object like that. Okay, the first thing I often like to do is clear the screen just to make sure that there's nothing left on the sense hat screen from the previous program. We can see something's left here from the demo that was on trinket.io. That's where I like to go to, to um, practice using the sense hat in this emulator. So when I run this, it should clear the screen. Perfect. Okay. Last time we set up a few things, I showed you how to make red, green, and blue pixels. So just to show you real quick again, um, the color red is 25500. So each one of these columns in this bracket here stands for red, green, and blue, where 255 is fully on, zero is off. So there's the color red, there's the color green, and there's the color blue. And uh, we also set fully off and fully on, whereas this is no light and this is white light, mixing green, red, green, and blue in equal amounts so that you get white light. Okay, um, and last time we, I showed you how to create a smiley face. We're going to do that again really quickly. I'm going to make um, a variable here and we're going to use square brackets and it's an 8 by 8 matrix where um, 0 means off and x means on. These are, sorry, not zero, O means off and X means on. So just to define my smiley face super quick, we're going to do six X's followed by an O. And don't forget that comma at the end of that row. So that should be eight. It is. Um, and then my next row is going to have an X followed by a whole bunch of O's. And then an X. And then I can repeat that that row a few times here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is white space is important in this programming language. So a second ago there I got that sort of tabbed over thing. You got to make sure that doesn't happen or you might get an error and not know why. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then our last row will be the same as the first but without the comma at the end. There we go. There's now we're gonna make it smile facing left. So I'm gonna put an eye here and an eyeball here, and I'm gonna put a smile here. One, two, three, four, and five. Now it might be a little hard to see, but these are all O's. The X's are gonna be on lights and it's facing toward the left. Um so let's just test this now. So if I wanted that to appear on the screen, I should be able to say sense, oops, take out my caps lock, sense.setPixels. And then I just pass it the variable I just set up, smile, left. And I like to use what are called camel caps here. That's where the first word is lowercase. The second word has an uppercase letter at the start of it. And uh, remember, variables can't have a space. Okay, so let's run this. We should get a smiley face facing to the left. Okay, so I'm going to copy this whole thing and paste it here so that I can create a smiley face that faces right. So I'm going to change the word left to right, and I'm going to change that to an O, and that to an X, and that to an O, and that to an X. And then I'll do the same thing for my smile. O. X, O, and X. That O should be an X, and this X should be an O. And now we've got smile to the right. Let's test that one. The thing that I think is super important about programming is that whenever you make a significant change to your code, test it right away. That way you know where the last sort of state was where it was working properly. Okay, so we've created 
a smile left variable, smile right variable. And, uh, and now we are actually going to create a function. So a function is something that you might want to do a number of times. So instead of every time um, I want right or left to appear on the screen, I, I could write out this whole thing every single time. Or what I could do is create a function. So here's how functions work. You start off with the word def, which I think probably means define. And then you give it a function a name. Um, so let's have it face left. We're going to call it just left. And open bracket, close bracket, and colon. And then anything that appears indented below that is part of the function. So if we want it to face left, we're going to say sense.setPixels. And then we'll have it say smile left. Now let's create a function for right. So let's test it first. I'll get rid of that there. So to call that function, we just write left. So let's test it. And anytime I write left, it will do this. Now when my code executes, it's going to run everything until it sees this. It won't run this part of the program until I type that command left. So basically it's, um, some people call it a subroutine, some call it a function, but basically it only does that every time we run that command. Okay, so let's see. Will it face left? And likewise, if I type right, will it face right? Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't define right. Ha ha ha, there we go. All right, that's why we always test. That. So let's define the function called right. So um, remember the open and close brackets. If ever we needed to pass it a number, um, we, or, or we wanted to give it some more information to our function, this is where we would pass that. So we could have the name of a variable in here, we could pass in information about uh, other things, which in this case we don't need to use. Okay, sense.setPixels, and we're going to say smile, right. Then we'll run that. And because we haven't told it to actually do anything, you can see it hasn't run these codes because they're function functions. It's defined them, but it's not run them yet. So another interesting thing you can do thing you can do here is you can see you can collapse functions down. So these things don't get run until we call them. So let's test right. And then we'll go back to the top and push run and see what happens. There it is, facing right. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to get input from this joystick and we're going to make it that whenever we push to the left, it will face left. And whenever we push right, it will face to the right. So we need to um, get some information about um, the direction that this stick is facing. And we need to... Um, get it all set up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, I'm just going to get rid of this. We don't need this right now. I'm going to say uh, sense.stick.direction underscore left. So here it's going to our sense object. It's going to the stick and it's checking the direction. We're going to say that equals left. And sense.stick.direction equal oh, right equals right. And then, then we're going to set up a loop. Now there are lots of different loops in this program. I'm going to run this again. You'll see it again. It clears the screen and doesn't run anything. So all we're doing here is telling it what left and right mean. Okay, so here's the last thing we're going to do. We're going to set up a loop that just keeps checking to see if the left stick has been pushed. And if it has, it's going to make the left um, th um, face appear on the screen, and if not, the right face will appear. So, oops. So here we go. We're going to say while true. Um, while loops means as long as something is true, it will keep running. So we could say while um, a certain counter equals a number less than five keep running, or while 
someone's pushing a button, but in this case, we're just gonna say while true, and true is always true, so it's just gonna keep on running. All right, so let's see if this runs. There we go. So whenever it gets left, I just tapped left on my keyboard there, and then it, and then it passed the function left. I think we should have brackets. Let's just double check. Right, left. Maybe not. Right, left. Right, left, right. So there we go. We've written a program that lets us control the picture on the screen using the joystick. If you wanted to, if you want to get creative here, you can make it look up when you pushed up on the joystick and down when you look down. And I'll leave that as an exercise for you.